Chris Jericho made his debut at the company on 820 against Jerry Lynn. Ted, uh, Chris is still in the business today, still top of the game, really, at working at a high level with AEW. And uh, yeah. I know that a lot of people consider him one of the best ever. I'm wondering about your thoughts when it comes to Chris Jericho. Uh, you know, I, I know Chris. You know, I, you know, personally, I've known him to be a, a you know, a good guy. I mean, uh, you know, uh, he's like anybody else in the business, you know, like he, he might have six friends and one, one enemy. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if Chris has got a lot of enemies. I, I don't think so. I, and, and one of the things that Chris did, and and, I, I'm, and I'll, you can contact, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but he set up a deal where fans and wrestlers, and obviously he found a way for the wrestlers to go at a very discounted price or free a cruise. The Jericho Cruise, yes. The Jericho Cruise. Is he still doing it? Yes, sir, he is. He hasn't called me. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling you out right now, Chris. Give, uh, give Ted a ring. Get him back on the cruise. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't remember what you know time of year he does them, but I, you know, I, I guess he does it annually. Uh, but I, I went on, and you know what? And, and, and initially I thought, wait a minute. So I'm, I'm going to be on a cruise ship and I can't remember that where that was in a four day cruise or a seven day cruise. Uh, but either way, I'm going to be on a cruise ship and there's, you're out in the middle of the ocean. There's nowhere to escape <laughs> with a boat full of wrestling fans. Could get wild. <laughs> so I was like, but you know what? It worked out fine. You know, and the, and the fans were, and hey, they were pretty cool. They were, they were, they were understanding of, you know, these guys, you know, because they did, we did have, we had, they, there were opportunities during that time period where all of us were there to sign autographs and, and meet him and greet him and take pictures with him and everything. And it worked out pretty good. So yeah, the Jericho cruise. That's awesome. You know, and I've, I've talked to a few talents that have been on the Jericho cruise and they all say what a great experience it is and that they love going to do it. So, uh, yeah, certainly sounds like a blast. I'd love to get on the Jericho cruise at some point. It sounds like a hell of a party. So yeah. we'll have to uh, make that happen someday, but but back, you know, but back to Chris's talent. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. One of the, one of the most talented guys in the business. And I didn't know that he was still working. I mean, how old would he be now? I know that he's in his fifties. I can't remember his exact age, but yeah. uh, he looks he looks great. And you know, he used to do that lion salt, like a moon salt, salt off the middle rope. He still does it. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, he's kept himself in really great shape. And yeah, it's uh, oh, he good. just he yeah. he continues to have excellent matches even at this age. So it's fun to watch him. Nowadays, a lot of fans are really critical when they see Chris Jericho matches. And most people are still really happy to see him out there. A lot of people are critical because they're like, ah, oh, you know, he doesn't have any more. He's not as good as he used to be. It's like, hey, guys, he's in his 50s. Uh, so why don't we all just enjoy the fact that he's still out there wrestling and what he can do. And, uh, you know, it's because, you know, 20 years from now, he's not going to be wrestling anymore, presumably. No. Uh, so let's let's enjoy it while we've got it. You know, I retired. You know, it's like I retired from the ring at at age forty, and uh, you know, a lot of guys. You know, there, there are a lot. You know, like you said, just like just like Chris, there are are guys who stay in shape well enough to, you know, I mean, I would say if you were you, you hang around after fifty, uh, you know, I don't, I wouldn't expect you to be doing too much. There's some guys, and I won't mention any names that I see hang around way, way beyond their prime. And, you know, it's almost like in, almost embarrassing, you yes. know, and I, it's like, uh, I, I feel sorry for him, but I wouldn't put Chris and I wouldn't put Chris Jericho in that category. No, no, certainly not. not. And man, if you saw him and the, the shape he's kept himself in over these years, it's like, Hey, like he might, he might not be as fast as he used to be. Maybe, uh, maybe he can't like get to his spots as quickly as he once was able to, but man, yeah. the guy can still go. 